everybody. Welcome to another edition of James Jam. I'm Jane. This is my jam. Uh, just had some, um, what do you call it? I wouldn't call it an unboxing because I already took them out of the boxes. Uh, revealing video? That seems weird. But um, just, I got three new things I wanted to show you. I'll have another unboxing coming up in probably a week or so. But for right now, I had three things I just wanted to show. The first is an SLG. It's my first item from Bottega Veneta. And everything I got was from Fashion File. Um, I've mentioned it before. There are no luxury stores in my state at all. So um, most of my stuff is Fashion File. Or if I get to another state and get to go to a shop, then occasionally I can buy some things. But the first thing I got was this. I just could not get over the color. Oh, thank you. I love this, like, lavender, dark, dark lavender, light purple. I've just loved this ever since um, Chanel, was it a couple seasons ago, came out with, like, a purple lavender bag. Oh, it just, I love it. And haven't been able to find the right piece. And then I saw this, and it was Bottega Veneta, which I don't have anything from, so I got it. Um, it's just a card holder. You just, um open it up and it's got a slide pocket here it's all leather and then a big open piece there and then um, the back also has a, a card slot here so basically one there one here and one here it's in um, excellent condition I don't see any flaws on it whatsoever and it came with the un the really nice dust jacket I haven't seen it like I said this is my first one but this is a really nice dust jacket. It's super soft. It's um, it, oh, just yeah, it's nice. I, I mean, a lot of places have dust jack or er, dust jackets. I'm talking about books. No, um, bags. Uh, a lot of them have dust bags, but um, this is I don't know. It's just really substantial. I really like it. All right, now the next thing I have is a bag. I have nothing from this fashion house either. In fact, honestly, I didn't really know this fashion house existed until a bag showed up on Fashion File and I just could not get it out of my head. And so I had to get it and it kind of goes along with some of the other things I've been getting lately, like rainbow related or with rainbow hardware, things like that. I saw this, I couldn't get it out of my head. So I looked it up. I looked um, at the details. Um, everything seemed good. Um, everything about the brand seems awesome. I, to me, think that it's kind of like Aspinall of London, which to me is more like a contemporary brand, um, but still has so many aspects of a luxury brand. And I got this, it still has its tags on it from Fashion File, beautiful bag. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this. I have the zippers open on it right now, which I can just um, well, attempt to close up here. Oops. Um, but the it's like an oil slick bag i don't know if you can kind of see it in here i'll try to move it around so you can see it but um yeah i got this bag it's a mini version it um it, so it's got patent leather here like an oil slick like i said um then just leather on the sides and the bottom and then again that kind of like oil slicky patent leather it comes with an adjustable leather strap and then it's got just the um it's got kind of like a dark almost like a gunmetal um opening and then you just push the buttons to open it and then it just opens up to a very large um single compartment it's, um fabric line like canvas lined um and then there is one uh, slip pocket and a zippered slip pocket on the inside and what I really liked about this too uh, it's by did I say that um, by Philip Lim um, I, I love it it reminds me very much like um, about the same size only a little bit shorter probably in height as my Celine nano luggage totes which I love um, and what's really cool about this too is these side slips Sli uh, slips parts you can leave these zipped up if you want to keep the bag um like it is um like you can kind of see here there's a section that it makes it smaller but if you open these just like 
this, the, um, it opens up to all this space. I'm like, where have these bags been all my life? I'm like, what? I, I, I'm just astounded, I guess, that more people don't get them. Oh, look at like the interior pocket to his leather. Just so you know, it doesn't come out, but it's movable. Um, where, where, where have these been? Why haven't I noticed them? I looked on Fashion File and these go for about half of what their retail price is, even in excellent condition. Um, these bags run about just over $600 in store. And Fashion File, they're all like um, $400, 300 200 And I'm... I'm I'm in love. I'm speechless. I absolutely love this bag. So I I just can't get over it. I'll tell you one bag brand I'll be buying more of. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, Philip Lim. So yeah, I got this. I'm hoping you can see the oil slick part. It is so cool. I just had like that kind of rainbowy oil slicky look um on here. So that's one bag I got. And then the second bag I have is right here. And this just goes to show how much I have been loving lavender and loving the Philip Lim bags. <laughs> this is another one. Um, this one is more of a kind of textured leather. The whole bag is leather. Uh, again, a leather adjustable strap. It's got the silver hardware. Uh, you know, pops open like that. And then the interior again is it's got it it's a really nice canvas and then it does have the interior pocket here which is all leather um, this one has a little wrap strap here that they had the um, things hooked together with I don't know if that's what it's for I'm assuming that's what it's for um, but oh my gosh, again, you can do that. You can make it way bigger with the, um, the zipper parts open, or you can leave them closed like this. Again, this is just a super unbelievably nice bag. Um, it was listed in excellent condition. I think it was like 400 or $450. I mean, the price of an SLG, I have a really nice mini bag here. Um, I just can't say enough nice things about this Philip Lim. If, if you've been sleeping on it, don't, but maybe you should. So then more stay out on the website. I mean, no, um, I will be buying more of these. I can tell you right now, I, I love these. They can be mini. They're a little bit bigger than them. I mean, it is a mini tote. I love the silver hardware. There's all different kinds of hardware. There's all different kinds of colors. There's different kinds of leather. Um, this is, this is beautiful. I mean, it, smells good like leather um yeah i am just i am just super pleased i have to cut both the tags off i will be doing that today but um and if you want i can do a video at some point showing you what all fits in and maybe again comparing it to the Celine nano because it reminds me completely of that bag like i said i think this one is just a little bit shorter but um Otherwise, capacity-wise, is probably about the same because I think the interior is bigger than the Sleen Nanos. And um, I just, I mean, there's n the, the stitching is perfect. Um, th I like the extra kind of leather on the bottom just for wear and tear. And um, the removable, adjustable strap. Um, th this is just beautiful. I... I do not know where these bags have been. I do not know why more people have not unboxed these. I didn't see a ton on YouTube about these, but I am telling you, I, I am sold. I am, there will be more of these in my future. Bags that I want of certain colors that I don't have yet, I will be looking up. Unfortunately, Fashion Pile doesn't have a ton of these. Um, there's, you know, way more of so many other brands, but... I'm telling you, this these are the first, but these will not be the last of these bags for me. I mean, if you want to treat yourself a little bit, you're thinking, oh, should I get myself a nice little SLG? Or should I get myself a full mini bag tote? I'd be going with the tote. So, um, yeah, I don't know why their retail is, um, why they sell so much less than their retail. Like I said, it's up to half off of what I've seen them retail at, but... Um, if I had the choice between an SLG 
and this, I would take this all the time. I mean, everything about it is absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. And there's um, some of the sides, you know, the edging is just like, like the Louis Vuitton edging. Um, kind of that smooth, um, well, smooth little edging, I guess, for lack of a better word. Um, and it's all nice. I mean, it's beautiful. So um, that's the unboxing I have for you today. Um, I'll continue to be posting my videos on Wednesdays. I hit 200 subscribers. Woo, woo, woo. I'm so excited about that. Um, just, I can't believe it. I'm looking forward to hopefully gaining more. And again, as if, if these get watched and more people like them, I will be glad to uh, start doing a couple more days a week. Um, maybe in the comments, if you get a chance, let me know kind of the stuff you'd like to see. Do you like comparisons? Do you like to know what fits? Do you like what's in my bag? Um, you just here for the unboxings. Uh, like I said, I have another unboxing that will be coming up. Um, yeah, uh, tags, anything. I'm, I'm wide open. Want to kind of know what people like to see. I know what I like to watch, but, um, I also want to know what everybody likes to watch. So again, thank you so much for watching. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, subscribe. Let me, let's go. Let's hit 300. Um, you know, you can tag me for other people. You can, yeah, whatever. Um, but anyways, um, seriously, please do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Thank you so much for being here and for watching. And until next time. Have a great day. Bye.